So, what's got Amy screaming like this? Oh my god! Ah! And Alex listens to the same song on repeat over and over while spinning. Plus, I have an update on my doctor appointments. It's, uh, it was a, it was an okay week. Um, also, one other thing I would like to note. I talked about a video where I was, we, uh, we had to make a hard choice regarding Alex. And I was putting something together and it was long and it was over edited and I hated the direction it was going. So I think right now I'm just going to say we decided to keep Alex out of school um, to put him in ABA for at least the first semester. So instead of uh, starting kindergarten this year like he was originally supposed to, we started him. Well, we're going to start him in ABA as soon as everything gets approved. Um, ABA is basically like a specialized treatment for therapy, for autism therapy, that is. Um, it, it helps get them ready for the world, helps get kids with autism ready. That's the simple version. Um, so we're just waiting for insurance to go through. But, you know, I got to say it's tough seeing parents posting uh, first day of school photos with their kids and, you know, knowing we're going to have to put that off for a little bit. Um, but you know, what's important is just getting him the best, the best help that we can. And that's, you know, that's the route we're going with it. So, um, with that said, here is our week. I'm a hot mess! What? Yeah, but wait, what did you say? I'm a hot mess. Yeah, but wait, what did you say? Did you tell that guy you went and stomped in all the puddles on the way in? Oh! Your jeans are soaked. You what? I, I, I jumped in all the puddles. Did you get wet? Yep. What? I sure did because it, it was raining. So wait, what did mom, what did, what are you? Okay, no. no, but did you say you're a, what kind of mess? A rain. A rain mess. Do you have, uh, bye. Oh, then do you want to take your... Yeah. Oh, what's that? A potato. Who is it? Mr. Potato Head. But who is it? What's his name? Don't do like Ots what? It. Don't do like Ots what? It? I, I don't know. He fell to the floor. Uh. Got it, but don't fall anymore. Yeah. He's not done. So Alex fell asleep in his Buzz Lightyear Halloween costume from last year, and I'm told he looks obnoxiously cute. So he sleeps like a log. I'm gonna go check out and see how obnoxiously cute he is. Come. If you're a parent that doesn't come watch their kids sleep. We're doing it wrong. Oh, you're not and that's one of the signs of his autism. He keeps the light on when he sleeps. That's uh, one of the things that he, one of his, his quirks. Look at that, there's three Buzz layers and a little dinosaur there. So, just dropping in for a quick update. Um, today was a good day. I went to my prosthesist and uh, he measured my stump. So it's shrinking, but it needs to shrink a little bit more. It's got to be the right size, you know, so when you get your prosthetic leg, it'll fit in and it won't fluctuate as much. But he said in two weeks, I'll get casted. And uh, that means they'll, that's the process of creating the leg. And then two weeks after that, so in about one month, I'll have my, my new leg, whereas Alex calls it my robot leg. And then that's when I start the process of learning how to walk again. I am so excited just to hear those words. Even if it's still a month away for somebody to say, that's when you'll learn to walk again. It's, I can't wait. It blows my mind. It gives me, you know, morale boost. Um, I needed to hear something like that. And then tomorrow I go to Dr. Fern's office. Um, for an update there, just to see the progress of how the actual uh, wound is healing, you know, the surgical site. Um, 
for those that don't know, Dr. Fern is my surgeon. He's the one that actually did the amputation. So fingers crossed everything goes well there too. Um, okay, so I am on my way to another appointment with my surgeon. Um, they're gonna check out my stump on my uh, surgical site. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Amy tells me I have no reason to be nervous. Um, they took my stump out. God, they didn't take my stump out. <laughs> they took my stitches out of my stump last week. And he warned me it was gonna open up a little bit. And it definitely opened up. And it looks, you know, it looks healthy. It looks fine, but I don't know. I just get nervous going to appointments like this for some reason. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Usually like nine times out of 10, Amy's right. Worry, I shouldn't worry. So, um, fingers crossed. Okay, sitting at the doctor's office, I can hear myself in my ear and my earbud is weird. Anyway, he said it's on the right track. Um, I gotta take this thing off that they gave me a hanger yesterday to kind of protect it because it's making the wound too moist, wet, damp. Um, he needs it to dry up just a little bit more. Sorry, I feel like I'm talking really slow because there's like a slight delay in my ear. So more of an AirPod. Okay, anyway. Um, not bad. He said it's on the right track though. So we'll keep moving forward and I think I'm coming back in like two weeks. What are you, are you helping me work? This is a video, not a picture. You can talk. 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 Tell me your story. Why? Once upon a time, the mouse made up the clock. <gasps> and the mouse, there was a big mouse, and the big mouse broke the clock. Hickory dickory duck. <laughs> Alex has been listening to You've Got a Friend in Me in Spanish. This is his third time listening to the song on repeat. And the entire time, time they're on, he spins in circles. Fourth time in a row. Mm. Buzz Lightyear's taking a pee break and then I think he's starting the song again. Sixth time in a row. Okay, my eighth time hearing the song today while Alex spins this time in a desk chair. Ninth time. Tenth time. Eleventh. So I was on my way back to my desk and I literally just took another fall like as I'm sitting here right now. Um, and the fun thing about this one, and I say fun sarcastically of course, is I can't get a hold of Amy. She took Alex outside for a walk and I have, she left her phone here. I think she forgot it, I'm assuming. But I was trying to back up with my knee scooter and Alex had toys on the floor causing me a trip and it went right down on my stump again. And there's a big old spot of blood on the floor to prove it. So right now I just, at this moment, I have it wrapped in a towel. I think it's not bleeding anymore. But that sucks. What happens if we put you in Spanish mode? All right, Buzz, interrogation time. Who's in charge of Star Command? You are. I am? Okay. What do you? What is your main mission? Going to Earth. Going to Earth to do what? I'm not walking on Earth. Who's your best friend, Buzz? Uh, who? Sir. Sir. Is that because he's your daddy? Tell me about Star Command. What's their radio frequency? What's your name? My name is Zerg. Go, I gotta go pee pee. <laughs> you can't get out of this interrogation by going pee. I gotta go pee pee, Molly. Oh, are, Light you, year. are you Buzz or are you Alex? I gotta go pee pee. I'm Buzz. Oh, okay. Buzz, you can't get out of this interrogation <laughs> that easily. Buzz, get back here. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. Buzz. Hasta la vista, baby. That means 
Mommy's gonna pee her pants. I've got a pee bubbers. What would you do if we like got behind a crash up here and we couldn't go? I would have to pee on somebody. Y'all would have to see me like pee in a cup or something. I don't know. I'd figure it out somehow. I'll tell you where the emergency bathrooms are at that point, you know? Yeah. I'll decide where the emergency toilet is. I would have to be one with nature at that point. I'd be like, all right, guys, we're doing this apparently. Now you got me getting anxiety that somebody's in the bathroom. Oh my God, I bet somebody's in there and they're just I pooping. I will have to go use the men's room at that point. I don't care. They're just in there pooping, taking their time. I'll, I'll call them out for it. I'll be like, quit taking a poop. It's gotta be pee time. If you're pooping in a gas station, you've made bad life choices. That's what I'm gonna say. You best believe it. I'm being ignored by Buzz Lightyear now. After a wonderful dinner, he's now ignoring me for Morphle on his iPad while mommy pees. I hope there's a long line for the bathroom because that would be funny. Threaten snakes being everywhere. That's scary. 